Hi, I'm Annette McFarlane here for Brisbane City Council's free native plants program. I'm going to show you some simple steps to help you get your native plant off to a great start. Now hopefully you've done a bit of pre-planning and worked out what you want your native plant to do, where it's going, and you've selected the right species for the job. Plant as soon as you can after bringing your native plant home. Dig the hole twice as large as the container that the plant comes in. If the soil's dry like it is here, water the hole with some liquid seaweed before you plant. Gently remove the plant from its container. There should be no need to tease the roots. Place it into the hole at the right level, backfill and firm. If you have some compost, it always helps to use it when you plant. Make sure you mulch around the plant. Water well until the plant's established. That's usually for the next two to three months. And once it is established, feed with a good quality native fertiliser to help your plant really grow strongly. So there you go, with just a little care and attention up front, your plant has the best chance of becoming established and giving new benefits for years to come. There's a variety of natives available through the program, including ground covers, flowering container plants, tufting grasses, vines, butterfly attractors, screens, and of course, iconic Australian featured trees. For more on natives and the free plants program, visit Council's website.